News 4 begins now with Storm Team 4. I'm getting better every day. That's my confession. And it was faith that helped save a local pastor on the brink of death. Tonight, can faith help heal? That's what some doctors are saying after a local pastor who was about to die made a miraculous recovery. I try not to go back there a lot, simply because I thought I was asleep for a night. And here it was three to four weeks later. When Michael Freeman, pastor of Spirit of Faith Christian Center, awoke in his hospital bed, he says he had no idea he almost died. And you kind of wake up and they tell you you're in a different month, you're in a different hospital. But what he thought was a common cold turned out to be an aggressive pneumonia that was attacking his lungs. Doctors at their local hospital said there was nothing more they could do for him, but his wife, Dolores, didn't give up. I, I was never frightened. I was never worried. I was never um, concerned. At the suggestion of a family member, they reached out to MedStar Washington Hospital Center, where they have a program called ECMO, short for Extracorporeal Membrane Oxygenation. It's a machine that's typically used for patients whose hearts won't pump, but some hospitals use it for patients like Pastor Freeman whose lungs aren't working. Cardiac surgeon Ezekiel Molina runs the program. In a situation like this, what the pump does uh, is replaces the function of the lungs. ECMO works by withdrawing the patient's blood, pumping oxygen into it, then returning it to the body. In Pastor Freeman's case, it can give the lungs time to heal. Once we decide to institute something like ECMO, we know that the risk of um, that patient dying is uh, around 50%. I didn't cry, I didn't feel like crying, didn't want to cry. I said, I don't have time to cry, I'm in a fight. I'm in a fight for life. Pastor Freeman stayed on the ECMO machine for three weeks, and just when doctors were beginning to give up, his lungs started to heal. He was going to live. Dr. Molina says one remarkable thing about this case, even though the pastor was close to death, his family never doubted his survival. I personally truly believe that they, they must have an impact in, in, in the final outcome. He is where he is today because of the combination of care that with my faith and with the doctors. This is Pastor Freeman the day he came back to his church, surrounded by a cheering congregation overcome with emotion. Though his lungs are still healing, he says this experience has made him feel more alive than ever. I'm getting better every day, that's my confession. Any day above ground is a good day, and uh, I feel great to be alive. Yeah, they were glad to see him back. Mm -hmm. Dr. Molina tells us that most hospitals in this region don't have an ECMO program. That's because it's very complicated and it requires a lot of training and experience to use. Wow. Good for him. Great yeah. story. So, hello.